What's up guys, Jane Yanjai back with another video and today I have with me a budget 1080p webcam from the company Susita. Susita, I don't really know how to pronounce it, that's, yeah, that's the company. Right now, the Susita 1080p webcam is marketed at $36 on Amazon and is supposed to produce 1080p video with 110 degree field of view. I have my doubts, but I'm going to review this anyway. Right now during the coronavirus, everything is online and everyone is looking for a webcam to use that will bring the best quality for the cheapest price. The thing is that Logitech webcams and other webcams that were originally $50 before COVID are now $150 plus and now the only 1080p webcams that are $50 are occupied by unknown, unreputable companies. The Susita 1080p webcam claims to produce 1080p video at 30fps, a privacy blogger, built-in noise cancelling microphone, and a mini tripod if you want to mount it. Hopping first into the unboxing, the packaging is nothing spectacular, nothing you wouldn't expect from a $36 webcam. It's decent and says 1080p webcam with a microphone, USB 2.0, and I quote this from the box, a cam privacy. I think they intended privacy, but budget companies often overlook their packaging. Another thing I noticed about this packaging is that nowhere on the packaging does it show the Susita company name, which leads me to believe that either this is a rebranded webcam or just resold from Susita and never actually produced by Susita. When opening this, the webcam is wrapped in white plastic and a mini tripod is wrapped in clear plastic. No manual and no papers of any sort are included. Right off the bat, the webcam doesn't even have a privacy cover as advertised, which is really disappointing because a company can't advertise something and not sell it. Let's look at the video quality. When you plug this in, it just works and there's no software for it, but the quality sucks. The advertised 1080p doesn't even look like 1080p, but looks like it's upscaled to 1080p. The 110 degree field of view actually exists and isn't a scam like half of the advertising, but the quality of the camera isn't the best. The overall temperature in the image produced is way too blue, and the highlights, which are the brighter parts of the image like my window and wall, are almost completely blown out, meaning that there is very little detail left in them. The colors are also terrible and don't look anything similar to real life, and if anything, seems like they're desaturated. As for the supposed noise cancelling microphone, well, it's a microphone, and it works like the rest of the camera. Um, yeah. I don't really know what to say. Mediocre, the video, the audio, it works, but not really up to what I expected. The supposed noise cancelling is non-existent, which you can clearly tell by the evident sound of my window and PC. Um, alright, uh, this is going to be a mic test and a video test of the Susita 1080p web camera but it's still usable since you can decently hear my voice. The tripod included is decent. The legs can be molded pretty easily to stand up on most surfaces and holds pretty well. The thing is that with these types of legs, after long use, the legs start to become weaker and move on their own and start to become unstable. The cable is 6 feet long, which is really nice, and the mount is pretty solid and easy to use. So what's my verdict? If you have nothing and you need a webcam now, I received mine in two days, it's a decent option. It does what it needs to do, it records video, and it works. And to be honest, for the average user, it's not that terrible, but my problem is not even with the webcam, but what it advertises on Amazon in the box that doesn't provide. It doesn't have a privacy cover, the 1080p is upscaled and mediocre at best, and the noise cancelling microphone doesn't noise cancel anything. Half of Susita's advertisement is false, and is in my opinion most likely rebranded. However, that is not to say that to the average user this is not recommended. Actually, in this market where a good webcam is now $150, I'd call this webcam a steal for $36. But for what I expected versus what I received, it's terrible. Anyways, thank you for watching my review. If you want me to take a look at anything that's a budget option or something that you consider purchasing or buying on Amazon or anything in the US, um, put it down in the comments and I'll take a look at it. And if you enjoyed my video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.